The Blue Angels travel all around the world performing at air shows. Who here has ever been to an air show? Okay, great. Because all of you have been so good, as promised, I have a super big surprise for you today. Is it a police officer? No, guess again. Is it a celebrity? Very close. In honor of History Month, I'd like you all to welcome a real fighter pilot. Wow. Let's give a warm welcome to Lieutenant Rossi from the Wing Girls. The entire experience was so much fun for everyone. We really worked as a team. We got to film on ships and we got to really see all the jets and planes we were working with and that was really fun. Ready, right, ready and looking up. Now looking behind you. I play Tegan Bear Rossi, and Bear is the baby of the group, so all the girls look out for her because she's the youngest, and that's just like in real life. I was the youngest actress on set, so all the girls kind of looked out for me. We had this real sense of sisterhood and friendship, so filming the movie was really easy. I am kind of the shyest, quietest girl, I think, and I keep this little guy with me. This is the bear that was seen. Why do you have the bear in your pocket? This little guy? This is how I got my call sign. They call me Bear. Have any of your parents ever given you a teddy bear? Well, my father gave me this one. He was a pilot too. One day he gave it to me and he told me to always keep it on me so that I feel like he was right there beside me. This is a movie about six women and we perform shows, aerial stunt performances, and we represent the women of the military. So we fly around and do our performances and throughout the movie our elite aerial abilities really get us recognized and noticed because the government needs to make a decision very fast. We didn't choose you. It was your exceptional skills and abilities that did. Tomorrow, we're going to test those abilities. And they board our ship and they don't tell us we're going into combat, but they plan on using us for combat. So that presents a lot of struggles for us. We don't necessarily want to fight. It's not our first choice because we're just air show performers. I got a bad feeling about this. Nobody goes to Affler unless they're going into combat. So we find out what we're doing. We find out that the Air Force is going to train us to be the first people um, battling, basically, being the decoy to distract all of the missiles so that the real team can go in and fight. That's a really dangerous job. And religion comes into play of whether or not we should be fighting. Our personal beliefs come into play. and. At the end of the night, we really only have each other. We have the girls, and we don't have our families with us, so the girls are my family. This team is literally all that I have. So, uh, <clears throat> I just wanted you to know that. And you're that edge. Cool. Lessons on how to be a good friend and how to support other people. Um, how to do what you believe in and stand up for yourself and make choices between right and wrong. You're going to learn about loyalty and trust with other people and you're going to learn a lot about history. For the younger kids watching, especially the younger girls, I think you're going to be able to take away that there are so many opportunities for you in the Navy, in the Air Force, to do so many different things. You can be a pilot, you can fight combat, you don't have to fight combat. I think a lot of young girls really don't realize they can be pilots. I thought fighter pilots were all boys. Well, once upon a time they were, and then women got introduced to the military, and now we get to do all the exciting things, just like the boys. So I can be a fighter pilot too? Yes, even girls can save the world at Mach 1. Woo! One for the ladies. 